This is Series 2, Episode 19. It's the evening of the 7th of May, 2022, and yes, I am back doing videos for you. Now, there's a good reason I've come back, and I will explain that in a moment. But let, let me give you some structure to this video, first of all. So I will start the video talking about my Forex robot, which you see on the screen. Then I will talk about why I've come back. And then I will mention a particular stock, an aerospace stock, which I think could be about to move. Here is my disclaimer. Everything I talk about in this video is for informational purposes only. If you decide to take action upon that information, that is your decision. You are responsible for all of your trading decisions. So, here's my Forex robot. Some of you are watching this, some of you are not. You can find it by going to myfxbook.com and just search for the Caveman Trader and you will find my robot. It's partly automated, partly manual. I do some trading myself. I'm having a difficult time at the minute, but still up 10%. I just wanted to show you what's happening, be transparent about what's happening, and you can see all the stats yourself. So you can see all these previous trades, and you'll see that there's a common theme is that I cut my losses short and I try to hold my winners as long as possible. For example, there's one almost 4%. But all these small losses are adding up, unfortunately, and hurting the account. But that is because there's been a lot of volatility in the market just all over the place. Just up and down, up and down, up and down. Really hard to make any decent money. But it's surviving so far, and that's important. I need to, I need to see whether or not this robot can survive real-life markets and you don't get much more volatility than you do at the moment with a war, with inflation. Uh, yeah, it's just craziness. So if this can survive this market, it should survive the majority of markets. So not all negative, but I wanted to get that out of the way because it is taking a bit of a hit at the minute, but still overall up. Okay, now let me explain why I've come back to YouTube. This is just a, one of my previous videos, but look below guys, you see this, this thanks icon? As of this morning, YouTube emailed me to say that I have this entitlement now, so my, my uh, fans, my, you know, you guys, you guys are watching these videos, if you think that they're benefiting you and, and helping you, you can now click thanks and donate, make a tip, give me a tip. So that will be, if you do that guys, that's going to give me a very, very strong motivation to continue. You don't have to do it, but if I'm seeing people tipping me, then it tells me that this information is useful and I will continue to push out more and more videos. If, unfortunate, if it's unfortunate and, and nobody does, and there's not enough ad revenue, it's just not worth my while guys, honestly. I've explained this previously, I get absolutely pittance from YouTube doing this yet the, the information is really valuable so I think it is anyway most of the stocks recently in the last I don't know 10 videos have done mostly predominantly well so those tips will go a long way guys and it will motivate me to continue so there, there, there's my groveling out of the way I don't want to do that every video uh, if you like what I'm doing please just hit that thanks and uh, that will go a really long way guys thank you very much okay that's that done now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this. I want to speak to you about uh, about a stock, an aerospace stock, which I think could be about to move. So this is a weekly chart and the ticker symbol is RADA. Like I said, this is an aerospace stock, but the most important thing to mention is that earnings is due on the 10th of May. So just run around the corner, we have earnings. Now, Looking at this price action and this volume down here on this weekly chart, this looks really nice, guys. We have a war going on, unfortunately, in the world. Aerospace stocks are one of the very few industries that are likely to do well out of it. The rest of the market seems to just be oil and gas, oil and gas, oil and gas. Every stock seems to be the same, and they're, and they're really highly extended. So I don't want to talk about oil and gas. I want to talk about this aerospace stock. So let me explain the technicals here. We have this major resistance here going across, and that's why I've drawn this line in, because of these touch points. And of course, prices come up to this level, 
uh, and try to break it break it on volume look at the volume there try to break it failed it's come back down and it's just been hovering around this major previous resistance the price looks like it's acting as support it's stuck it's going up and down and this appears to be the new floor for price possibly so that's the weekly chart let me show you the daily chart so that because this is a round number fifteen dollars that's a natural area where price is going to gravitate gravitate to anyway so as you can see we have talked about that major line across there at fifteen dollars but let's look at this in a little bit more detail if I draw in this manually in real time across there you can see that price comes up comes down makes a bit of goes a little bit lower cut touch is even acting as resistance there and still there and eventually breaks through comes up comes down stops goes up a bit down up a bit down up a bit down this fourteen dollars fifty level fourteen fifty appears to be a nice area for a trade because you can limit your risk. Now it's up to you how you trade or if you trade, but earnings is due on the 10th of May, as I said. I think if you wanted to, guys, you're preempting it. You get in. If you wanted to again, I can't tell you what to do. And this is a strong stock, strong fundamentals, strong technicals, strong story. There's a war going on. This is an aerospace stock. It's got a lot going for it, guys. There it is, $14.50 area. Thereabouts could be a buy area up to you, uh, but that's the trade. I'm only doing one today. I need to ease myself back into these videos, and, and unfortunately, there isn't a lot to talk about in the stock market because the majority of stocks are absolutely getting annihilated. So, this is one of the bright spots at the moment. So, there it is, guys. R A D A. If you decide to take the trade, I wish you the best of luck, and uh, hopefully, I'll speak to you soon, depending on the feedback and the uh, tips, <laughs> hopefully I get some tips, because that will motivate me. Thank you very much, speak to you soon.